She came in with something straightforward, or at least that's what I thought. DKA, her hemoglobin A1C was 16, she was hyperglycemic, she had polyuria, and she was lethargic. And hey, DKA has common triggers we all think about. Stroke, MI, absolutely infection, steroids, non-compliance. So I drew blood culture, started her on fluids, gave her insulin, replaced her electrolytes. But the odd thing was her lactic acid was not coming down. She came in with a lactic acid of five and then it jumped to seven and then 12. So I asked myself, what could be causing a rising lactic acidosis in a patient who's getting fluid resuscitation? Her troponin, barely elevated. EKG, normal. So I repeated her EKG and there were ST elevations in her lateral leads. She was actively having a STEMI. She didn't fit the classic pattern because she was too tired to tell me. Heart attacks are a known trigger for DKA. Catecholamines, glucagon, and cortisol all spike during cardiac injury. They antagonize insulin, push ketones, and deepen acidosis. So here's the pearl. Always ask why your patient is going into DKA. And make sure your wife is the clinical picture. Follow up grit nursing to level up your critical care.